This story is set back in time, about 500 years. In this period, Japan was divided into a large number of districts, where each warlord was desperately trying to expand his reign. The roaring sound of war could be heard everywhere. Onin's battle in 1467 triggered a ruleless world where the hierarchy of power meant nothing. Anarchy was the only thing which could be found. But the arrival of a foreign ship cast ashore by a storm on the distant southern island influenced the war greatly. A mechanized armored soldier. Technology given by foreigners along with firearms enabled Japanese craftsmen to build an eight meter tall humanoid robot. Powered by a steam engine. This machine was so powerful that each robot could stand against 300 cavaliers. The airship was another invention brought by Westerners. It was no wonder that the highly sophisticated weapons spread throughout the country in no time. Countries which could not keep up with the rapid change lost their power and were absorbed in the powerful stream. In 1556, the names of the eight strongest warlords who had survived this chaotic time were Nobunaga Oda, Shingen Takeda, Kenshin Uesugi, Moto Nari Mouri, Dosan Saito, Moto Chika Chosokabe, Takahisa Shimazu, Yoshimoto Imagawa. Especially Oda of the Owari district was expanding his power rapidly throughout the country because of his demonic talents. In April of 1556, Oda's ally Dosan Saito was murdered by his son Yoshitatsu, and the balance of power became unstable. At the time the news of Saito's death arrived at Oda's castle, the anti-Oda alliance was formed between the six most powerful warlords, Motonari Mori being the leader. In the vicinity of Mikawa, Imagawa's army executed a fierce attack on Oda's loyal force led by Shibata. Facing the absolute overwhelming power of the Imagawa force, the Shibata army was demolished completely. Additionally, a report said that other allied forces were approaching from the north and the west toward Oda territory. It seemed like Oda's fall would only be a matter of time. However, he still had his final trump. A ninja army called White Fang. Concealing their existence in the mountains, these highly skilled ninjas specialized in maneuvering their customized armored soldier. The order was given by Nobunaga only they can overcome this desperate situation. Hey Game Share viewers, welcome to another installment from myself, Jamie. Uh, today, playing Robo Alesta on the Sega CD. Um, what you will have noticed is it's got probably the longest intro of any game ever, and it's very boring. And if you manage to catch everything that was happening, you're a genius. So, um, Robo Alesta, same format as Musha Alesta, Super Alesta, all the other Alesta games for all the other systems. Um, you just, it's a straight shooter. You're in a mech suit. Um, this time we've got a bit more backstory, uh, but you're in a mech suit. You're flying along, you've got to save your empire uh, via various power-ups and special weapons um, I'd say this wasn't my favorite installment of the Alesta series I'm probably more fond of Super Alesta on the Super Nintendo or the SNES 
uh, which I find very, very fun. Uh, it's, it looks different, the SNES version, um, but it is very fun. The power-ups are great. So, for the time being, you're going to have to do this one. So, you can grab yourself a copy of this if you do like it. It's roughly about 40... 40 pounds sterling on eBay at the moment. Um, but you've got to get yourself a Sega CD as well, which can be quite pricey, especially if you're looking for a boxed, nice one. Um, and if you're looking to record yourself some footage of your Sega CD, a Leicester outing, you're going to need a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive 2, uh, so you can get yourself AV cables with both left and right um, audio outputs. Don't get yourself a Mega Drive 1 because it's not going to be that great to you. So back to the gameplay. As you can see there's various uh, enemies here uh, with varying degrees of toughness. Some take two to three shots, some take one some take many more but the idea is to uh, get your power ups get your special weapons and survive your way through this very tricky game at the moment my my sort of two side guns if you like um, have got lasers I find that the most powerful of the early guns because you can just sort of wipe out the whole screen with them those colourful canisters that keep on falling down they will up the power of your current weapon as opposed to the glowing sort of balls that you'll see um, collected uh, which actually give you a different weapon each time so the whole idea behind the Alesta series is just it's an onslaught of constant enemies just no let up whatsoever it's just a really fast paced really really nice game very enjoyable and as such is very collectible and um, fetches quite a bit of money so here we go first boss I've decided throughout the level to keep with my laser because as I said I find it very powerful, very useful. There we go. Just take him on, take out everything he fires at you, collect your power-ups and just keep on doing him. He's shooting whirlwinds at me or tornadoes not really that effective pow right in a kiss off and that's man gone first boss done which just about wraps up our video for this evening if you like a less dark um, we do have a couple more or less the videos on our channel that you might want to check out. Um, also with commentary we'll be up in uh, the full series at some point. Um, but if there's any other games you'd like to see us play through or you've got any suggestions, you can drop us a tweet at this address or you can visit our website or Remember to subscribe and you leave a comment uh, if you like. You can leave a comment if you like. That wasn't a threat. Um, yeah, so leave us a comment, subscribe, and uh, give us a little thumbs up. So until the next video, I'm out.